Um, we thank God for what he has done already. Um, uh, my name is Daniel Akintola, and um, by the grace of God, uh, by the privilege of God, I was director of um, the movie My Dream Man. Uh, that movie had been that movie has been um, a, a great movie for me because uh, the storyline came from something uh, that I witnessed myself. It, it's a true life story. At least 65% of it is true life because um, I was just privileged to be in the pastor's office uh, when uh, the whole event came and. The pastor was trying to console a sister, and everything about her uh, was used to build up that story. And then uh, we got the story, and it has been beautiful. Uh, the only thing that uh, shocked me was that on the first day of the shooting, when we got to the first location, we wanted to shoot the pastor's office, and. Um, <laughs> One of the cast just said to me, he has read the, the entire script and said, ah, this is too, too, too tragic that we, we have to water it down and to make it more convincing. And I said, no, we can't, we can't change something like that uh, because it's, that's how it is. And they said, no, we are now acting. We don't need to go like that. And right there and then, uh, we had to change one or two things. Uh, about the script there and then we added some things uh, to have it the way it is and that part one was was a bomb I thank God that uh, we had a lot of people that really really watched it in the first 72 hours of its release a lot of people uh, bought into it and we got a lot of comments from it and I'm grateful to God all right my name is Daniel Olude and I'm privileged to be part of the crew for the production of My Dream Man by the grace of God and the support of my daddy, Pastor Daniel Lakintola. I was behind the camera as the DOP and you know, it is, it is, it is a privilege to be a DOP under the direction of, of my father. It's, something great ah this production is way different from the ones we have been having and this one is a bit challenging the shots and everything but we thank god for the success of the production the scripting is wonderful you know when daddy was sharing the story with us i was like oh could you keep up going and cover and it's not supposed to die like that but then daddy said that is how the story is and sincerity is a story everybody should should watch whether you are married or not it is a story you should watch watch it you get lessons from it it's not only about marriage you can learn other things that you should wait on god don't be in a hurry to do things it is a wonder and the part two is is coming very soon if you have not watched the part one please go and watch it so that you can understand the flow of of the thoughts part two is is awesome it is awesome and then um, sincerely i know that when it is out you'll be blessed you'll be blessed by it thank you please don't forget to press the subscription button subscribe give us a comment let us know what you think about the movie let us know how the movie has blessed your life and as you do so god will bless you in jesus name um the the cast have been um very wonderful and They've been very, very, uh, very, very beautiful sets of people, you know, especially because uh, most of them were just uh, new to acting. For instance, uh, a brother that acted, Marcos, um, this would be his first time uh, in any set of a movie, and he came in uh, and it blew our mind. In fact, uh, Today he has become the lead actor, uh, one of the superstars now for Abidan Productions and you will see more of his faces uh, as a major uh, cast, uh, more, more, especially in the coming year uh, because uh, God gave him that talent that uh, he might not even know that he had, but we thank God for him. 
you know, when 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 his name was suggested, uh, we only approved him for because of his stature and uh, because he had uh, the kind of uh, uh, the kind of picture we had in mind for uh, for Marcos, and he did well. Many people like that came on board, uh, and wow, it's been a wow. Uh, other cast too, they, they really performed uh, excellently. Uh, you'll be shocked that they are not just regular actors, but we are trying to make sure that by the grace of God we maintain the flow and keep them until they also uh, 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 these regular faces you'll be seeing uh, on major movies across the globe. My name is Amos Olude and I played the role of Mar Marcos in the film titled The Man of My Dream. It was really an experience for me and I think I so much enjoyed all the scene and it was such a privilege to have worked with um, our director, a person of Pastor Akintola alongside, you know, Pastor Daniel and the likes of um, um, uh, Maria and many of them. Um, it was like a dream come true for me, being on stage, um, eventually for the first time you know and i look forward to having more of this experience in this kingdom for god and um, for his benefits to bless life and to bring people into the awareness of who god is so it's such an experience and i hope that the, the other videos i'll be featuring in you know would also uh, develop my talent in this industry thank you so much uh the my dream man part one uh, even though we didn't plan for it to have uh part two we did it was not part of our plan uh, but by the time we ended in fact we had shot the movie to uh for us to have a reflection at the pastor's office uh, that uh, encapsulate uh, all the the points and we could also do a little preaching that was our intention we had even done that but while we were editing uh, so many people just uh, so many thoughts began to come in uh, for us to bring in a part two this so many say ah why will Marcus just die like that uh, because the last thing we saw was that they were shaking him, Marcos, Marcos, don't die. Why will he just die like that? And we're saying, okay, uh, <laughs> let's see what God will do. And God give uh, more inspiration. And so you're going to be seeing Marcos in part two. Uh, and don't ask me whether he died or not. Wait for part two. Uh, you'll be seeing him. And that informed uh, uh, bringing more cast. Uh, into part two because we had to now expand expand it my name is Tawoshe abimbola and i have the role of sister shola in the movie titled my dream man uh sister Ch sister shola uh, is a wonderful role yes she wished to marry bro marcus but <laughs> it's a pity that bro marcus is in love with someone else which is uh, Sister Shola's friend, and that's Sister Lighty. Um, I think um, when you watch the movie, you will get the full gist. Yes, it's my first time of acting, and I want to say thank you to Pastor Daniel Akintola for giving me the privilege. Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a very big privilege. Yes, don't forget to subscribe and then share the link as many as possible people you can share it to if you have not watched the part one of the movie please go and watch it and then watch out for my dream man part two it's going to be out. uh the major challenges uh, uh one major challenge that i can talk about um is that uh for instance the fact that we did not plan for part two uh made us to expand all our cast you know we are not a big movie industry that way and we are just doing it as god is giving us uh, the grace and all of a sudden 
we had expended, we had, we had casted all our actors. And all of a sudden, we just had part two now. And you know, you can't bring somebody who had acted in part one to act another thing. So we had to start sourcing for more actors here and there. And we had to call in some who have acted with us in the past and some other new ones just to fit in. In fact, um, we have one pastor, uh, a general overseer that joined us uh, and he did well. Uh, that will be his first time also in acting. He came in well and he did well. Uh, you see a lot of a lot of cast, uh, and I'm sure that in the coming movies uh, here and there, uh, they will become professionals, and, and that's the beauty of Ab Abidan Production. Most of those you have seen that are flying high today, they started with us as the first time acting and God is helping them. So for us, we like to use our raw materials and bring, that, bring out uh, the finished product uh, as the grace of God is upon our lives. Hi guys, hi everyone. I know most of you have seen our movie, My Dream Man Part 1, and I know you can agree with me that it was powerful. Just so you know, Part 1, Part 2 is around the corner and it promised to be what a blast. Please don't forget to watch, subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch, to watch these edifying movies that is going to what, help you. Trust me, it's going to be powerful, wonderful, interesting and educating. Don't snooze on this. Don't sleep on it. Please click on the watch, subscribe button. Hmm? Okay, uh, for uh, what we have ahead of us, uh, 2024 is going to be very wonderful. I'm telling you the truth. Already, uh, we, are, we are pushing in. Uh, there's a script going on right now, and the shooting will soon start. And um, <laughs> it's going to be powerful. Uh, it's a story that we are trying to see if we can get it to part one to part seven. Part one to part seven uh, of at least 50 minutes each so that we can... Uh, it's a message that I received, uh, I was, I think in the month of October, I was in Shagamu, I was ministering in Shagamu and the Lord just uh, dropped a, a, a passion, a burden in my heart and we went further and we started to uh, write the script. It took a lot of time before the script came because you know, we don't just uh, bring out any story, it has to be, to be inspirationally received. It must be received by God and we thank God. Uh, the script is ongoing now and it's going to blow everybody's mind. It's, it's going to be a new dimension and uh, my, my DOP is already wanting me to look like uh, one, uh, he wants me to be like uh, one, uh, not, he said I should not act pastor anymore. I don't want to see the other side of me. Well, uh, just watch out. You'll see a lot of things as God will give us understanding. Hi guys, my name is Olukunle Tayo. I acted the role of young Olaide in my dream man. In the movie, oh, very stressful. I was made to walk the water under this cushioned sun. And again, they asked me to um, be like a home girl, homeless girl who does not, you know, who suffered a lot. And again, during my exams, I was asked to act till in the midnight, 1 p.m. It was so stressful, as in, ah, when am I supposed to sleep self? I was asked to act, but all thanks to God. However, I want to even see myself in the movie. I just give glory to the Almighty. Uh, well, if you are interested in joining Abidam Production, it's so easy. Um, uh, the number is just scrolling there, or you can send us an email at abidanproductions at gmail.com. Abidanproductions at gmail.com. Just send us. So many people have sent us uh, invite uh, by the grace of God. We are looking at next year that uh, God's willing, uh, we are going to, before the end of the first quarter, we we'll roll out a form for those who want to have uh, join us in. Uh, we are going to start uh, a, uh, a drama. Or movie in uh, drama uh, film uh, institute where we can train up people and bring them up in acting especially Christian drama we are not it's everything we are doing right now is to propagate the gospel like I said in one of my uh, 
uh, uh, interviews uh, that I, I said some time ago that this passion came uh, when I was looking at the way people spend more time watching Netflix, watching uh, African magic and like that. And I said, wow, these people are corrupting the minds of our children. But how do you, how do you stop uh, them if you don't have something to give to others? So, and that's a passion. So we need more people to rule out Christian movies that will preach the gospel rather than just condemn those who are showcasing nakedness and uh, romance and whatever that you have. Um, another, another challenge for us is uh, on the issue of um, raising funds. I must tell you the truth, um, it's been really challenging. Most of our movies cost a lot of money and you know, we are just giving it out free. We are not, uh, it's, we are not selling CDs, we are not anything, it's just going for free. It's a major, major challenge for us because you have to raise money uh, to get all this done. But we thank God because he's still providing. Um, another challenge that I want to really talk about is that uh, the body of Christ, we don't really celebrate things that has to do with, um, with, with, with Christians. Uh, and, and you'll be surprised that when you ask a lot of people uh, that are supposed to even be my friend. I have a lot of friends on Facebook. I have a lot of friends on, on YouTube. I have a lot of friends on Instagram. I have a broadcast list that is spanning to 4,000. But you'll be surprised that uh, a lot of them don't even watch our movies. So you just tell them, you send it to them, you send a link to them. They just tell you, they, they do thumbs up, or they do like this, but they have not watched it. You see, and, and that for me, uh, it's so sad because you are you are trying your best, but they don't really uh, watch it. Most of those who watch my movies are not my friends. Most of those who have watched it are not really my. They are not connected to me in any way, and they are watching it. But my friends are not watching it. Members here and there. I have a lot of people, and you know, it, that's a major challenge because it could be very challenging. Well, um, in case we have people that want to support us, who want to encourage us uh, financially, uh, there are things that we really need. We need sound recorders, uh, we need a new camera, we need more cameras, we need more light, we need, I wish that we could get drone. Uh, we, we are doing a lot of movies now that uh, we need drone. Uh, and, you know, one of the good things that God has done for us is that from... 2000 and, um, uh, 2021, 2021, that we started uh, just about three years ago, two years ago. We've not rented a, a, any equipment God has been providing. So I wish that we could get more. You know, one of the good things about having your own equipment is that you don't, you are not depending on anything uh, to, to, to move. Once you get the inspiration, just wake up and just start recording, just like what we are doing right now. I just got inspiration right now and I'm speaking to you. Uh, it shall be well. So if you feel like getting across to us, the accounts uh, will be shown. Just get anywhere and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please watch it. Don't download. Watch it. It doesn't bite. It doesn't bite. Just like my brother will always say, it doesn't bite. Just click the subscribe button and watch out.